Welcome to Green TV, the show that focuses on independent Green Party and Green Party candidates and positive Green New Deal eco solutions for the economy. Kate Alexandrova is here on the program with us, as is Brooklyn Kinley. Hi, everyone. Brooklyn Kinley is an independent Green Party candidate for Arlington County School Board. Uh, later, independent Green Party candidate Erica Lawler for House of Delegates in the 97th District will join us. The independent Green Party is for Green Party, Green New Deal, eco jobs for the economy, solar jobs, wind jobs, geothermal energy jobs, rail jobs, conservation jobs, weatherization jobs, efficiency jobs, renewable energy jobs. Independent Greens say we need more train, less traffic. The Independent Green Party issued a public letter to Virginia governors this week calling for rail in the I-66 corridor. Independent Greens oppose the proposed $3 billion boondoggle toll roads. Independent Green Party State Chairman Joe Otto called the billion dollar boondoggle toll roads, quote, an appalling attempt to give away taxpayers' resources, public access to campaign contributors, end quote. The positive independent Green Party solutions, rail, walkable, bikeable, pedestrian-friendly communities. Shifting now to national Green Party politics, the Green Party is one of only four national political parties in the United States. Dr. Jill Stein is the leading candidate for the Green Party nomination for president. The Green Party Harvard educated medical doctor, wife and mother, Jill Stein launched her 2016 presidential exploratory committee in February. Dr. Jill Stein is one of the three announced possible Green Party candidates for president. Dr. Kent Mesplay and Daryl Cherney are the other Green seeking the Green Party can presidential nomination. Most Green Party experts agree Dr. Stein is the front runner for the presidential nomination. At her National Press Count Club announcement, Dr. Jill Stein was joined by Green Party local, state, and federal candidates like Bonnie Lane, James Lane, G. Lee A. Kane, Natalie Strauss-Zuki, Green Party hip-hop artist and minister Head Rock, and Christian Combs. Other Green Party leaders were there showing support. Kevin Zeese, Margaret Flowers, and Jennifer Ellings. Go. Dr. Jill Stein was the Green Party presidential nominee in 2012. The Green Party's Jill Stein campaign was a historic victory. Stein, as a Green Party candidate, received the most votes in history for a woman candidate for United States president in the general election. The Green Party leads the way in running women and minority candidates around the globe. Dr. Stein did part of her Green Party presidential announcement in Spanish. Excelente. <laughs> this is the time to come together. Solutions are in our hands, justice is in our hands, democracy is in our hands. 90% of the people independent Green Party petitioners meet support more trains and less traffic, high-speed rail nationwide. Polls show 80% of Americans support the Green Party, Green New Deal, Eco Jobs for the Economy platform. Here is Green Party presidential yes. candidate Dr. Kent Mesplay, a yes. Native American Indian. Because we really could win. We even could have a green in the White House much sooner than many people think. Last time around, it was statistically possible that our nominee, David Cobb, uh, should have been elected president. We were on the ballot in enough states at the time of the general election. Now, of course, we would have had to have swept quite a few of those states, but it's not impossible. 
Um, so we're working together for ballot access. The independent Green Party is the most active on ballot third party in Virginia in 100 years. Independent Green Party indoor C nominees for House of Delegates include Priscilla Burnett. Priscilla is retired from law enforcement. I am Priscilla E. Burnett, oh, well, candidate that. for the 95th District for the House of Delegates, and I am an independent Green Party. And hi, I'm Latonya Winters. I'm the campaign manager for Priscilla E. Burnett, 95th District House of Delegates. Priscilla, do you think we need high-speed so, rail statewide? Yes, we need high-speed <laughs> rail statewide. <laughs> yes, and we do. as your candidate, you should expect more out of me and expect more out of every candidate that is running. And with me, not only can you expect more, you will get more. High Priscilla. speed rails statewide. <laughs> Priscilla E. Burnett. That's what we're going to get, Priscilla. That's what we want. The Independent Green Party's David Lambert is on the ballot for Virginia's House of Delegates in the 74th District. That is the Virgin Richmond, Virginia area. David Lambert grew up around the, the state legislator. David's father, Bernie Lambert, was a long serving state senator. Hi, I'm the Hippie Lambert, Independent Green Party. Do you know that every dollar invested in rail grows us $28 in economic growth for our economy? Independent Green Party, vote David Lambert. Janet Murphy is the Independent Green Party candidate from the 48th House of Delegates District. That is Arlington. Janet Murphy is a mother and a new grandmother. Janet Murphy's granddaughter is Evangeline. Hello, I'm Janet Murphy, Independent Green Party of Virginia. We need more trains and less traffic. Rail will grow the economy. Rail increases the value of our businesses and property. We need more trains and less traffic. Build rail now. Janet Murphy, Independent Green Party of Virginia. Erica Lawler is the Independent Green Party candidate for House of Delegates from rural Mechanicsville. I'm, I'm very familiar with that area. Uh, the Independent Green Party's Erica Lawler is a wife, mother, and working conservationist. Erica Lawler joins Independent Green Party Green TV now. Erica Lawler, welcome to Green TV. Thank you. Please tell us about your education and professional qualifications. All right, I attended college at Virginia Tech. I completed my undergraduate degree there in 2006, and I concentrated on international studies in French with a minor in political science. Upon graduation, I moved up to Washington, D.C. for two years, and I worked translating contracts from French to English so that our accounting department could comply with the terms and conditions of international health development work. After that experience, I moved back down to the Richmond area, and I worked at Virginia Commonwealth University in their research department. And after just over a year, I transitioned to the College of William and Mary, where I've been now for almost five years, working in the Office of Research. I support the Center for Conservation Biology and the Institute for Theory and Practice of International Relations. And I support the faculty and staff in seeking grant funding for their research interests. And then I also handle compliance and contract negotiation, as well as some financial concerns. Now, Erica Lawler, Independent Green Party candidate for House of Delegates. Uh, Erica Lawler, you're also a, a wife and a mother, are you not? That is correct. I have two children, a daughter who's age four and a son who's 13 months. Oh, so your life is very quiet. All the time. <laughs> Never a piece. <laughs> Fantastic. I had the pleasure of meeting uh, your exceptional husband, a uh, former uh, a U.S. Marine uh, and a marksman. And he has also uh, worked, uh, he's a tree ex expert as well. He shares uh, your interest, is that correct? That's right. The two of us went together on Easter Sunday this year to go tag some bald eagles. He was the one ascending the tree to retrieve the chicks from the nest. And I was on the ground with the Center for Conservation Biology staff, and I got to see them banding and measuring the bald eagle chicks so that they can track their development and the health of the nest in the Williamsburg area. Now, I know uh, when we were down uh, visiting at your house last week, uh, there was talk about your 
uh, to, you agree that we need more trains and less traffic. Uh, talk to me in the next uh, few seconds that we have about your positive independent Green Party solutions. Um, well, we have one of the heaviest blue traffic um, stations here in the Richmond area on the Amtrak line. It's the Richmond station that is, um, trying to think of the code for it, it's the Staples Mill station. So if you're familiar with Amtrak's line, we've been there many it comes times. Up there as RBR. Sure. And we've also got an airport, and we should connect those two with some kind of light rail so that we can have more business traffic coming into the Richmond area. Erica Lawler, uh, Independent Green Party candidate. Thank you, Erica, for joining us on Green TV today. We look forward to having you next time in the studio, and maybe you can bring the two-year-old and the four-year-old. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Thank you very much for having Thank me. Thank you, uh, Erica Lawler. Now off to Colonel Jim Leslie, who is a United States Marine Corps veteran and the independent Green Party candidate for State House of Delegates from Annandale, the 38th district. The independent Green Party candidate Jim Leslie is the only Native American Indian on the ballot for state legislature. Hello, I'm Jim Leslie, independent Green. We need pedestrian friendly communities, bikeable, walkable, rail stops, with bike access to all of our communities and our stops in Virginia. This is Jim Leslie, Independent Green. Thank you. Other Independent Green candidates for the House of Delegates are Paul McIlvain in Alexandria, the 43rd District. The Independent Green Party's Paul McIlvain is a retired engineer and opera singer. Paul McIlvain, Independent Green Party, is a husband, father, and grandfather. Hello, I'm Elaine Hildebrandt. And I'm Ken Hildebrandt. We're both running as Independent Greens, me in the 5th. And I'll be in the 6th. District. More trains, less traffic, solar energy. Geothermal and hemp. That's a wrong Absolutely. Yeah. The Hildebrandts. <laughs> Elaine. And Ken. Hildebrandt. Dr. Ken Hildebrandt is the Independent Green Party House of Delegates candidate in farm country. The Independent Green Party Ken Hildebrandt is a retired physician. Elaine Hildebrandt, Independent Green Party, is a retired school teacher and state senate candidate. Steve M. Holt is an Independent Green Party endorsee for House of Delegates in the 71st District. That is also in the Richmond area. Jeff Staples is an Independent Green Party endorsee for House of Delegates in Chesapeake. Jeff Staples met the Green Party's Dr. Jill Stein last year. Jeff Staples promised the Green Party leader he would run for office this year as a Green Party candidate. Jeff Staples is a candidate in the 81st District. Paul Brubaker is the Independent Green Party endorsee for House of Delegates in Leesville, the 86th District. The Independent Greens Paul Brubaker is for bikeable, walkable, pedestrian rail-friendly communities and eco-jobs for the economy. Attorney Brandon Waltrip is the Independent Green Party endorsee in Williamsburg for House of Delegates, District 96. The Independent <coughs> Green Party endorsee Brandon Waltrip is founding partner of the general practice law firm Collins Waltrip. Brandon Waltrip is a graduate of the Virginia Military Institute and Mississippi College School of Law. The Independent Green endorsee, the Independent Green endor the Independent Green Endorsey, Waltrip serves on the Board of Virginia Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. Don Caldwell is the Independent Green Party candidate for State Senate in Roanoke. Don Caldwell is a respected leader indeed. Don Caldwell has served 34 years as Commonwealth Attorney. Virginia, you know, has a biennial budget of $90 billion. The Independent Green Party advocates for growing the economy, creating jobs with high-speed rail, and that means high-speed rail all the way down in Bristol, all the way up through Roanoke to Winchester, Brooklyn. 
Other independent Green Party candidates for state Senate include Terry Modlin. I'm Terry Modlin, independent Green Party of Virginia. See these solar panels? They mean jobs for our community. They mean better national security because of less dependence on foreign energy. And they mean a cleaner environment. Go solar. This is Terry Modlin, independent Green Party of Virginia. Terry Modlin, independent Green Party candidate for state Senate 35th district. That's Annadale. Terry Majlin is a Vietnam veteran. The Independent Green Party's Terry Majlin has a master's degree in urban development from Georgetown University. <laughs> That's Independent Green Party leaders Janet Murphy and Ron Fisher at Church Forum. Uh, independent Green Party State Senate candidate in Arlington District 30 is retired Navy Captain Ron Fisher. Ron Fisher, Independent Green Party, is an honors graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. Other Independent Green Party State Senate endorsees include Marlene Dufresne in the 10th District. That's Petersburg. Marlene Dufresne is a former county supervisor. Hi, I'm Joe Morrissey, and I'm currently a member of the Virginia House of Delegates, and I can't agree more with this slogan, more trains, less traffic. I spent time in Europe and in Australia, rode trains all the time. Europeans, Australians get it. We need to get it in Virginia. We need more trains. We've got to lower our carbon footprint, and one of the ways by doing that is for more folks traveling with trains. Fighting Joe Morrissey is an independent Green Party candidate for state senate in Richmond, District 16. Steve Nelson is an independent Green Party indoor seat for state senate in the 19th district. Steve Nelson's district includes Danville, where independent Greens have fueled strong candidates for years, like Mary Martin. Independent Green Party nominated and endorsed candidates are on the ballot across Virginia. The Independent Green Colonel Albert Burkhart is favored for election to County Board of Supervisors in Isle of Wight County. Colonel Burkhart is retired from the U.S. Army, taught school, and leads the local volunteer fire department. I'm Albert Burkhart, Independent Green Party of Virginia, born and raised here in uh, Hampton Roads, Virginia. Went to college at VMI, graduated in 1967, went straight into the Army for a 26-year career with the infantry. After that, I taught public school for 10 years. Following that, I w was a volunteer in the local fire department. I'm Albert Burkhardt, Independent Green Party of Virginia. Gail Farrell Parker is the Independent Green Party candidate for Fairfax County Board of Supervisors Chair. I know she's our favorite, our isn't favorite, she? Absolutely. Gail Farrell Parker is Go a Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Go Gail. Go Gail. I'm with you on that one. Uh, Gail Farrell Parker is retired U.S. Air Force officer, successful green businesswoman, and state vice chair of the Independent Green Party. Gail Farrell Parker, Independent Green Party candidate for House of Delegates with Virginia Rail Express Map. Gail, how would we make Virginia Rail Express better? Well, dedicated passenger rail track would be ideal. We need new track to more trains that go to more places more often. Cora Foley is the independent Green Party candidate for Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, Springfield District. Cora Foley is a retired senior executive from the U.S. State Department. The independent Green Party's Cora Foley is a prolific writer. Cora's own Foley has written seven books since retiring. Cora Foley, independent Green Party, is dedicated to building a senior center in Springfield. Now, this is a great cause that I think everyone should support. Cora Foley is the first Filipino-American candidate for Springfield District Supervisor. I'm Corazon Foley, Independent Green Party candidate for Springfield Supervisor. We want uh, more trains, less traffic. I'm Corazon Foley, Independent Green Party candidate for Springfield Supervisor. That was Corazon Foley, Independent Green Party. Now the Independent Green Steve Pushore. Hi, I'm Stephen Bushore of the Independent Green Party. I'm here to tell you that rail makes us safer and more secure. Rail 
cuts dependence on foreign oil and provides fast evacuation in an emergency. And I'm Steve Bushore of Independent Green Party. Please support us. Steve Pushor is the independent Green Party candidate for Northern Virginia Soil and Water. Steve Pushor is the independent Green Party candidate for Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District Director. As far as I remember, he's also known as Dudeski. Dudeski. Du I think it was Dudeski, and he actually announced uh, on the show. Yes, he actually announced his so nomination much. here exclusively on Green TV. Set where you're set in Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, the, yes, it, this exact should, spot. Should the I Indy honor it? The chair. I, you definitely can show it some respect. Yeah. Uh, the Indy Green Party candidate Steve Pushor is a retired information technology expert. Hi, I'm Raga Mal Muhammad, Independent Green Party. We need to level the playing field, cut tax subsidies to zero for oil, asphalt, coal and all the other fossil fuels out there. This is Raga Mal Muhammad, Independent Green Party. Independent Green Party is opposed the billion dollar boondago toll roads. Greens call for cutting taxpayer subsidies to zero for big oil, big auto, big asphalt. The positive Independent Green Party solution is rail. We need rail on I-66, we need walkable, bikeable, rail, and possession-friendly communities. Every dollar invested in Green Party Rail creates over $20 economic growth and development. Rail and bikes grow the value of our homes, businesses, and communities. Rail grows revenues for our schools, police, and fire departments. The Independent Green Party urges the governor and state transportation secretary to say no to billion-dollar boondoggle toll roads. Anticipated growth. It's a spectacular success. Arlington just last month, uh, Alexandria just last month, voted to start their own bike share program. We need to bring bike share to Braddock. That means uh, multimodal solutions for our transportation challenges. Pedestrian ways. Also, uh, the bike share specifically would work wonderfully at George Mason University and University Precinct at Northern Virginia Community College, uh, NOVA, uh, also around all of our Virginia rail stops, like Braddock, like uh, Burr, and, and like Grove. So bike share is a great opportunity at low expense to help solve our transportation challenges. Carrie Campbell is an independent Green Party, endorsed independent for Braddock District Supervisor. Carrie Campbell is a U.S. Air Force veteran and accountant. Carrie Campbell has lived in Braddock District and has been community leader almost 30 years. Brooklyn Kenley is the Independent Green Party's nominee for Arlington School Board. Brooklyn Kenley, of course, is a mother and a gifted and talented real estate professional. Hi, my name is Jill Stein. Thank you so much for being a part of this extraordinary moment at the threshold of historic change. We're told we're in a recovery when actually it's an emergency. So it's time to lift up the voices of resistance and transformation leading the way in communities across America. And that's why I've launched an exploratory campaign for the 2016 presidential election and I need your help today so we can bring the struggles of frontline communities across the nation into the front lines of the presidential election where they belong. Because we can give voice to the movement for democracy and justice that's sweeping the country, calling for a new society and a new economy that puts people over profit. A movement for solutions as big as the crisis we face, for 20 million living wage jobs to green our energy, food, and our transportation while we meet human needs and rein in climate change. A new era of racial equality and restorative justice in place of the racist prison state and the drug wars and the militarized police. And we can create healthcare and education as human rights and abolish student debt 
and make college free, and create a welcoming path to citizenship and expand workers' rights, and replace reckless militarism with diplomacy and international law and human rights, and much more, because this is a transformational moment. And your help now, with a strong donation or whatever you can afford, allows us to reach out to everyone who's been abandoned and betrayed by the ruling elite and offer a campaign in service of the justice we deserve. And together, we can ensure that people, planet, and peace will prevail. To connect and let us know you want this campaign to go forward, visit jill2016.com slash donate. And thank you so very much, because it's in our hands. All right, friends, thank you again. Uh, I want to extend my gratitude and thanks to uh, my partners here, uh, Brooklyn Kinley and Kate Alexandrova, for hosting another fun-filled and interesting, fascinating uh, Green TV. Uh, Kate, Brooklyn, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you again. See you again next time on Green TV.